like for our ushers to come up, we want to take up our building fund. I'd like to get $1,000 this morning for our building fund. One thousand dollars. If you can't hardly get to your wallets, men, stand up. Get them out of your back pocket. Women, if you can't get to your pocketbooks, reach down and get them. that where he can get started sooner than that. I don't know, but I did ask him three months, and he said, oh, yes. So we'll be breaking ground before too long. God bless y'all. We don't do that. The uh, contractor does. The contractor that's building the church, he'll pull all the permits and everything. Yes, sir. We're going to have a business meeting Monday night, July the 10th at 7 o'clock. Youth service Sunday night, July the 16th. Brother Austin Smith and that service is going to be here at the church on that Sunday night, July the 16th here at the church. Revival, Hope County Church of God. Brother Teddy Freeman and myself, Sunday night through Friday night, July the 23rd through the 28th. So keep these announcements in mind. Anybody else with any announcements this morning? Praise the Lord. Good to see everybody. Oh, yeah. I had forgot about it. You told me about that. Oh, good evening. No, you the birthday thing. Man. Uncle Kenny, birthday. Stand up where everybody can see you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. If there's any more, we get you next Sunday. I'd like for our singers to come on up. We got some. These young girls is wanting to sing. Um, 
You might have had to get Rebecca's daughter to come with you. Her name's Faith, ain't it? That's right. support these young girls. They want to do something for the Lord. Amen. It, it would be good if we'd all stand. For our youth department to come up. We had a, a little unusual Sunday school lesson, and my wife, she brought up the topic. Of course, this is Fourth of July weekend, and you know they, there's many soldiers that pray, paid the price for our freedom. But she asked a question to our Sunday school class, do we ever take the time to praise the Lord for the freedom that he gave us, the freedom from sin? And uh, just listen to the words that, of the song that Brother Paul is about to sing. And if you're, if you're lost, just think about what our Lord and Savior, what he paid for us to have this freedom.
Amen. It's good to have our visitors. Let's give them a hand clap. I have a niece that's here today with her future husband. Amen. Thank the Lord.
with all of the problems that we are facing across America today, I'm so glad that we are in a land of freedom. If we was in Ukraine this morning and we could see the devastating effects of war and how that homes and buildings is being destroyed and people are being killed. Yes, this morning we have our problems here at home, but thank God this morning that we have freedom to be able to come to the house of God today and give God glory and honor. Amen. I thank God for the freedom we have in our nation, but I have to say this this morning, the greatest freedom I ever experienced is when I found Jesus. Praise the Lord. He set me free. Hallelujah. Thank God. And if you're here this morning and you're bound, amen, Jesus paid that price on that old rugged cross, shed his blood. He was wounded for our transgressions. Thank God. And he went through all that he did that you and I this morning could go free from our sins today. Amen. So thankful this morning to be here with you. I'm really not able to preach this morning. I told somebody that I have been sick all week, and I've not been sick with any kind of flu or anything. I got over hot on my job, and then I preached every night this week in a revival, sweated every night until the place where I've been having kidney trouble all week long this week, real bad, and uh, been having very bad difficulties. And I've been needing the help of the Lord. And uh, I feel like this morning just speaking to you a few moments here out of the word. But I probably won't exert myself real hard this morning. Uh, God can anoint a few words just like he can for an hour. Amen. Just a few words from the Lord this morning. If you'd like to read with me, I'll turn in the book of Ephesians chapter number 3. Praise God. Ephesians chapter number 3, verses number 14. Also want to read in the book of Galatians chapter 3, but these verses of scriptures on my heart this morning. Verse 14 in the fourth chapter of Ephesians, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lay in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself. Amen. I want to just mention right here while you're standing, uh, in these verses of Scripture... Verse 16, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. He is here speaking concerning unity in the body of Christ. And we are here this morning. Thank God, every saint of God. You are in that body, and we are a body, the Bible says, fitly joined together and compacted. Praise God. That is a blessing. In the book of Galatians chapter 3 and verse number 26, if you'd like to look with me, uh, Galatians 3 chapter 26, the Bible says, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. 
for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be in Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now, just before you are seated this morning, I would like for you to turn to somebody close by wherever you're at this morning, shake their hand. If you want to hug their neck, that's fine, but I want you to tell them something before you do that. I want you to tell them this. I want you to say, you're my family. Praise God. Shake somebody's hand this morning. You're my family. Amen. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're my family. Hallelujah. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You are my family. Amen. Bless you. Love you, sister. Appreciate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now, I should probably have known better than to do that among a bunch of Lumbee Indian people. Hallelujah. Thank God. People who love one another and love their family. That's wonderful this morning. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May I say to us this morning... When you look around this church, all around, maybe you didn't get a chance to get over on the other side. They didn't get over on this side. But when you look around you this morning, you are looking at family. Praise God. In many cases, I can say this morning that I am closer to a lot of my family here in this church and people around here this morning than I am even with some of my what you would call blood kin folks. Why? Because listen, if you are born again of God, then we are a family because we have the same heavenly father. Praise God. God is our father this morning. And how many knows this morning God's not divided? Come on. I read to you here this morning with God he said, there is neither Jew, there is neither Greek, there is neither bond nor free. Says, there is neither male nor female. Praise God, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to express just for a few moments here this morning how blessed I feel and how honorable it is this morning for me Thank God to be able to be a part of God's wonderful family. Hallelujah. I believe somebody mentioned the word this morning already about taking things for granted. Hallelujah. I believe that's one of the great blessings and benefits so many times that is overlooked and taken for granted. Thank God. But we need to understand this morning we are one body in Christ Jesus. I read where the scripture teaches us in that body. He said, if one suffers, all suffers. He said, in that one body, amen, if one rejoices, all rejoices. Praise God. Why? Because, thank God, we are joined together with the love of God in our heart. Hallelujah. Thank God. The family of God has not been created on some temporary or artificial basis. But it has been created and made by the almighty God. Hallelujah. Just as much as Adam needed a companion named Eve, God created him a wife. Amen. To be his helpmate. Thank God. How many knows God instituted the church this morning? This has been made and created by God. Thank God. And not only this morning do we look around here and see our family, but many of us here today, 
Thank God we have family that consist here on earth. And we also have family that is already in heaven. Thank God. And even though they're already crossed over and made their journey into heaven, we are all still one family. Hallelujah. Thank God. And uh, one undivided family, we all belong together. Thank God. I, I was reading, amen, in the scripture about our name being recorded. Thank God. We are registered. Amen. Each one of us is registered and our name is recorded in the same book. Hallelujah. Thank God. God's book of life. The same hand that wrote the names of the patriarchs of old. Amen. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Thank God all the prophets and the apostles of old. The same hand that recorded their name. Hallelujah. Is the same hand. Amen. That wrote down your name. And recorded my name in that Lamb's book of life this morning. Thank God. And though there are many saints that have already passed on into heaven. Thank God that relationship that we had with them never dissolves. Just because they have gone to heaven, that relationship is not over with. It never passes away. Hallelujah. Thank God we are nearer, actually, amen, to our heavenly family than what we even realize we are. The Bible teaches us we are compassed about, amen, with so great a cloud of witnesses. Who is that? Praise God. Amen, many of them saints that have gone on. Amen, the devil make us feel like this morning. Amen, that our relationship has passed away. Thank God, and, and it's been dissolved. Oh, no. Amen, thank God. I feel like this morning mama's gone. Amen, as far as this world is concerned, but I still feel that connection to her. My father's gone, but I still feel that connection. Thank God. Amen. We're just, we're just in a little waiting period. I don't know how much longer it's going to be. Thank God. But we're going to have a family reunion after a little while. Thank God. Hallelujah. Our family. Amen. Over yonder in the portals of glory. They're waiting on us today. Thank God. And we don't have much longer. And we're going to join them. And Sister Alice, when you see Mama next time, she won't have cancer. When I see my daddy next time, he won't have no stroke. When I see Mama, she won't be having to prick her fingers, amen, to check her amen, insulin levels no more. But when we get over there, that great big family of God's going to be healed from every disease, amen, every infirmity. Thank God, and we're going to gather around the throne of God. Hallelujah, the family of God. Amen, as I was praying about this, I was thinking God put it on my heart. Amen, the unbroken family. Thank God, the unbroken family. Amen. I believe this morning God's people, thank God, are to be a people that is knit together. Thank God with the love of God. Hallelujah. Family is wonderful. I've been thinking about this week. Amen. Uh, some people, they, they, they don't feel the need. Amen. Uh, and the benefits and the blessings of being a part of the church family. But uh, I'm so glad to be a part of them. Hallelujah. I'm glad that I can have somebody, amen, that can touch heaven for me. Amen. When I'm in need and I'm in trouble, thank God somebody that I can call, Sister Clara, amen, that can touch heaven. Hallelujah. Going into that procedure last week, amen, going to have to go down her throat and shock her heart to try to get it back in rhythm. But Sister Clara... We, we anointed somebody in your behalf, and we prayed, and we sought God, the church family of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God done the work for her before they ever had to do a procedure. Thank God. I want to tell you this morning, the devil, amen, he's a liar. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what he wants to do, sister? Amen. He said when he's accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people. The devil wants to bring divisions in the family of God. 
if he can separate God's people, they may bring divisions and amen schisms in the body of Christ. Amen. He knows we will not have the power, amen, the togetherness that we need. Amen. But when we come together, thank God with the same mind of Christ and God's people come together, brother, I want to tell you what it's going to do. It's going to move heaven. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. I was thinking, amen, how blessed I am. How blessed I am. Amen. This past week, I've been very, very sick. Hey, I've never been this sick. I told somebody I'd rather had to go back through my gallbladder surgery than to be as sick as I've been this week. Amen. But I've been a praying, and I've had other people, thank God, different preachers that has called me. I said, I want you to pray for me. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be honest with you. Amen. After I let a few of the preachers know, different ones that I knew, they had called me. Brother Clarence called me this week. He, we, what, he wasn't calling about me being sick, but he called. Amen. Uh, Brother Perry Deal called. Different preachers called this week. They'd had no idea that I was sick. And I told them, I said, I want you to pray. I need God to move for me. Thank God. And after I just told just a few people that I wanted them to touch heaven for me. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, God, amen, begin to move in my behalf. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Amen. I thank God for the doctors. I thank God for physicians. But I want to tell you, I thank God for you this morning. Amen. I thank God for his people today. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Smith, how about this problem? How about that fault? What about that one over there? I'm going to tell you, when you get down and you get sick, amen, you ain't going to be looking for all the faults and the failures. Thank God you're going to be looking for somebody, amen, that will call on God in your behalf. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. You know what's going to bring lost people into the house of God? Amen. Those that are wayward without the Lord, amen, it's going to be saints of God. The Bible said when Zion comes together, when Zion travails, amen, sons and daughters are born in the kingdom of God. Hear me this morning, amen, when God begins to hear the cry, amen, of his people all in one accord together and they begin to cry out to God Almighty. It'll move God just like it did with the children of Israel was in Egypt's land. Thank God, hallelujah, amen, they was underneath that persecution of Pharaoh. Hallelujah, looked like, amen, there was no relief. Thank God, but they begin to cry out to God, Brother Chris. Amen, as they begin to cry out to God, God heard their cry. Hallelujah. God sent, amen, Moses down there. Hallelujah. Amen, God sent a deliverer down there. Oh, that's what we need right now. Hey, Amen. We need God's delivering power. Hallelujah. I've been hearing different ones this morning talk about Sister Marcella come to church. Hey, Amen. Barely able to get here this morning. Thank God different ones I spoke to. Hey, Amen. They're facing different problems. Hey, Amen. Brother Harless Ray just had to have some help. Hey, Amen. Just to get here this morning. Hey, Amen. But with God's people today. Hey, Amen. Could come Come together and bind together as one body of Christ. The delivering power of God is still able this morning. Thank God to heal, to save, and deliver. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, amen. I'm glad to be a part of God's big family this morning. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Amen. It's such a blessing. Such a blessing. Hallelujah. And I don't want to see us take this for granted. Amen. It's not the will of God for people to fall out with one another. Come on. It's not the will of God for churches to fall apart and split all to pieces. That's not the will of God. Amen. But if my people which are called by my name, humble themselves and pray. Thank God and seek my face. Turn from their wicked way. Then when I hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sin and I'll heal their land. Oh, glory. Uh, that's what we need. My people, I'm going to tell you, you belong to him this morning. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. I preached this past week at Brother Teddy Freeman's every night this week, and Lord knows I wasn't able to preach. Amen. But, oh, I preached one night on the message on reclaiming what belongs to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Unity belongs to us. Togetherness belongs to us. The love of God, amen, is supposed to be shed abroad in our hearts. Each and every one of us. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Many years ago, Sister Rachel, Sister Amber, your father, Brother Terry Jordan, was at the campground over in o Old Hundred. I believe they called it Old Hundred. Amen. My daddy preached the first camp meeting that they ever had there, 1980-something. I don't remember. There's 13 people give their heart to the Lord. Amen. That week they baptized 13 people. Amen. But Brother Terry Jordan was sitting on one side of the amen corner over there, and Daddy was on the other side of the campground over on the other amen corner. Thank God. And he said they were singing the songs of Zion. And Brother T my Daddy had a habit whenever he'd get to feeling the Lord, he'd swing that fist out about like that. Praise God. Praising God. Amen. Brother Terry said, I don't know. He said, but I was on that side of the church. He said, when Brother Smith done like that, he said, I felt a wave of love just come right over me. Praise God. A wave of love. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I'd like to feel that wave of love. Amen. Flowing freely. Amen. Among the saints of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. I believe results will take place. Amen. When the love of God is moving in the house of the Lord. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, it's so good to be a part of God's family. So wonderful. Amen. I appreciate this morning the opportunity. Thank God to be a part of it. And I want to say this morning, amen. If you're not in this great big family of God, don't waste no time. Get in it. Get in it. Amen. Get in it. It's the best thing you'll ever find in this world. Hallelujah. Thank God. I appreciate you this morning. I love you so much. Amen. I want you all to continue to just lift one another up before the Lord. Amen. Uh, we was talking this morning just a little while, and we mentioned about uh, different ones that's fighting and struggling. Amen. One of the greatest things I've had this week, I'll share this with you real quickly. Uh, I've been sick, but one of the biggest problems that I've had this week is my mind and my nerves. Amen. I have battled that devil. Brother Johnny Conley's going through sickness. Brother Johnny, I'm sure you've had to lay on that bed and battle that devil in your mind. Brother Jeremy, i got an understanding better of what you went through with just not too long ago. Amen. Having uncontrollable seizures. And I'm going to tell you, I can only imagine how the enemy would battle your mind. Thank God some people don't think that's real. But I've, I've been understanding more and more, thank God, that it's real. Hallelujah. Amen. But I just believe I've had to battle the devil and put him in his place and let him know I belong to God Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. And God's going to take care of me. God's going to bring me out. Amen. God's going to help me. Hallelujah. Thank God. I give it all to Jesus this morning. Aren't you glad you got somewhere to run to? Somewhere to turn it over to. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Turn it over to the Lord. Your anxieties. Amen. Your fears. Amen. Turn it over to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. He can speak peace. Glory to God in a troubled hour. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God in the middle of the night. It's been two and three o'clock in the morning before I could ever even find any sleep. Amen. Been battling that old enemy in my mind. 
Thank God, but I wonder how many this morning will join with Brother Andrew today. Thank God, shoulder to shoulder. Amen. And let's fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Stand against that old lying, tormenting devil. I claim victory. Amen. Victory in Jesus' name this morning. Hallelujah. I belong to God. He's my father. Thank God I'm his child this morning. Let's stand all over this church right now. Lift your hands toward heaven. Thank God. Let's give him praise. Thank God. Hallelujah. Let's honor him. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. I'm trusting you, God. I'm believing you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You haven't brought us this far, oh Lord, to forsake us. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank God, thank God. The Lord's a moving right here. Maybe there's somebody else that's been a battling that old devil. And you need God to come by this morning. Amen. Touch your mind, touch your heart. Thank God, would you stretch your hand this way? Let's believe the Lord right here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Precious Father, this morning right now, in Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Touch the little body of this baby. Touch his little body. Heal him, Lord. Heal him, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Move right there, oh God. Do it, Father. Do it, Father. Do it, Father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, you are compassionate, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's thank the Lord for touching this little child this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Move every bit of this fever, God. Move every bit of this sickness, Lord. Heal his little body in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother Ray, amen. Brother Way is tired. He's real tired with this sickness. Amen. He's weak. He needs a touch from the Lord. Oh, my Lord. Heavenly Father, this morning, my brother's been a battling, Lord. Oh, God, that the body of Christ would come together in behalf of my brother this morning. <laughs> Those that's attacked, oh God, in their bodies with sickness. Would you touch him, oh God, this morning? Heal him, Lord. Give him strength in his body, Lord. I pray this morning for his mind. Comfort his mind. Comfort his mind. Let's pray for Brother Ronnie right here this morning. Amen. Amen. Church, can we bind together this morning? This brother has been uh, having a back of his head. has been so hurt and he could hardly lay on his pillow. And the doctor told him if he develops any type of fever, he's to go immediately to the hospital. This brother needs a touch. Let's church come together right here. Amen. Let's believe God. Oh, Father. Lord, this morning God's in a battle, a struggle. Oh, physically, Lord, he needs a touch. <laughs> hip, hip, Lord. Hip, hip, Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Is there somebody else this morning? Anybody else? Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Lord, right now, we pray for Brother David God. Lord, would you touch his body? Touch him, oh God, heal him right now. Move for him, Jesus. Move for him. Heal his body. Make him every whit whole for thy glory. Touch him right now. Jesus is mighty name. Heal him, Father. I praise you for it. I praise you for it. I praise you for it. Come on, Sister Clara. Amen. God's doing a work. Her breathing is real bad. She needs a touch. Help, help her breathe in God this morning, Lord. Lord, her oxygen, God. Lord, this morning, those treatments that she's having to take, God. <laughs> oh that we can feel, Lord, this morning, God, for my sister, God, and touch the throne of God for her today. Clear those lungs, oh, God. Clear those lungs, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. By your stripes we're healed. We're claiming it, Lord. We're claiming it, God. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be not weary, sister. Well doing. Due season, you're going to reap. Hallelujah. Stay strong. God's right here with you. God's right here with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. This sister's got a bad nerve running down the side of her face. She wants the Lord to heal her. Amen. Let's believe God this morning. Lord, right now, Sister Sandra, God, she's got this nerve. Lord, God, that's affected her, God. I'm anointing. We're praying together, God, every one of us together tonight. Today, agreeing, Lord, that Jesus, you the one that went to that cross. We're agreeing this morning, God, that you paid that price for our healing, God, this morning. Heal her body, I pray. Move for that nerve, God. Move every symptom of it, Lord. Let there be a miracle performed right here this morning. By your mighty hand, oh God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Sister Sandra, raise your hand and praise him. Praise him and thank him right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I claim it, Lord. I believe you, God. You are that healer this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go ahead, sister. Praise it, praise it, praise it. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Lord, our brother has a need this morning. He's coming right now before you, oh God. Special request upon his life, Lord. You know the battle, the struggle that he's been in.
sister's having difficulty with her knees. She's got a lot of knee trouble. Let's believe God for healing right now. She's supposed to have knee surgery 25th of this month. She's wanting God to come by and help her. Let's believe the Lord right now.
this brother's having trouble with his knee. He wants God to touch him. Raise your hand this way. Let's believe the Lord together, church. Let's bind together. Lord, we ask for Brother Claude this morning. He's having trouble, God, with his knee. It's not too hard for you. Just a minor thing for our God. Lord, would you reach down, Lord, and heal his body. Move upon his knee, God. Let there be healing, Lord, that flows from thy throne. God, this morning we claim it in right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe Brother Woodrow Cooper, where's he at? Brother Woodrow's been losing weight. He don't have any appetite. Amen. And he's been having lots of trouble. And we'd like to pray right now in the name of Jesus that God would heal him. Praise God. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, would you touch Brother Woody? Oh, God, touch his appetite. Heal him completely from the top of his head, Lord, to the soles of his feet. My God, my God, touch his eyes. Give him comfort. Give him strength, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Why don't we just all stand right now? Everybody that's able, let's just lift our hands toward glory. Praise him this morning, for we're serving a mighty God that's worthy. Every praise is unto our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. We love you this morning, God. We praise you for what you're doing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like for you to take this few moments of time right here this morning as we get ready.